Hello, my finest friends. Welcome to frame 156 of Me One Versus Me Two Snooker with a Victorian ghost child. What are you saying? I can't understand what you're saying, I've got spirit from the other side, but I think you. Oh, God. Uh, I think you should. I don't know if you can hear this. It's against the law for Richard Herring to talk. Yeah. Well, that's going to make this quite difficult to do this. Well, some would say. Do I want you to eat candy? I would like you to go to bed. Go to bed now, please. Into bed. I got eaten by a crocodile who pooed out a monkey. <laughs> go to bed. Thank you very much to the Victorian ghost child there. Uh, welcome to. Uh, me I didn't call you stupid. Welcome to... <laughs> I didn't. Welcome to... We got it on tape. Go to bed! Um, I apologise for the intrusion. Uh, welcome to Me One vs Me Two Snooker. It's a continuing contest in which Me One, played by me, takes on Me Two, played by me at snooker to find out which me is the best at snooker. Uh, this is an old water I just found. There's a fly in it. Can you see it? I hope I don't drink that by accident later. Um, that's from last week. Uh, should really clear away my empties. It's killed a fly. And that's not the only death we will witness tonight. Uh, talking of death, uh, I should say that Gustavo Mancan Mancao's family got in touch to say they did not, did not want the arena named after him. Uh, so it's uh, been a bad day for singer song. I have to go to sleep or can I do something? Yeah, I have to go to sleep. You can read a book. Just get off of my lawn. Uh, Pablo Milan is the Cuban singer-songwriter's died. Erasmo, Erasmo Carlos, uh, the Brazilian singer-songwriter's died. Uh, I was going to choose one of them. Uh, Yuri Shukovich, the Ukrainian politician from 2014-2019. Just missing the exciting bit. He's, he's died as well. But I'm going to choose John Y. Brown Jr., the American businessman uh, who popularised the KFC restaurant. He bought it off Colonel Sanders uh, for the equivalent of uh, two million, well, no, for two million, which I think is equivalent about 70 million, and then sold it for basically a billion uh, dollars later on. So he was a very successful man. He was a governor of, governor of Kentucky from 1979 to 1983. So he didn't just do fried chicken, he did Kentucky. I'm sure his family will be honoured to have him remembered uh, in, as, a, as an entrepreneur like I am in the field of self-playing snooker. Uh, let's quickly get on to the football scores. There's a lot. I thought there wouldn't be any. There's a lot today. Uh, the World Cup is on. Very exciting. I don't know if you've heard of this. And there is a match playing at the moment. Uh, it's half time. It's 2-1 to France against Australia. Australia took the lead with a very good goal. Then France came back and scored two goals. And as we expect, uh, the underdogs never win in the World Cup. That is my experience. Uh, on to the more important scores. Uh, EFL trophy. Half time. Got a lot of these. Burton Albion nil. Tranmere Rovers won. Lincoln City nil, Morecambe nil, Wolverhampton Wanderers U21 nil, Manchester United U21 nil, Grimsby Town nil, Accrington Stanley nil, Salford City nil, Bradford City nil, Bolton Wanderers nil, Barrow nil, Forest Green Rovers 1, Cheltenham Town nil, Milton Keys Dons 1, New Newport County nil, Plymouth Argyle 2, Charlton Athletic 1. A lot of goals going in, but these are half time scores. Stevenage nil, Arsenal under 21 1, Peterborough United 1, Chelsea under 21 2, sorry, U21 2, uh, AFC Wimbledon 0. Sutton United nil, Ipswich Town nil, Portsmouth zero. In the League Two, it's the town that's been the, the it's the match that the has set the chat room alight. Fifty three people watching at the moment. Crawley Town nil, Gillingham nil. Uh, over to the National League where York City play. FC Halifax Town P, Dorking Wanderers P. Uh, fantastic score there from both of them. National League North. AFC Fylde nil, Boston United nil, AFC Telford United nil. Kidderminster Harriers nil. You can't just put AFC in front of your name and hope that puts you up the alphabet. I mean, you can. They're doing it, but that's tell they shouldn't be that high up. Banbury should be ahead of Telford. Banbury United nil. Bradford Park Avenue nil. Curzon Ashton nil. The cinema. Blythe Spartans one. And Fars Parsley Celtic zero. Chester nil. In the National League South, Hemel Hempstead nil. Town nil. Eastbourne Borough nil. Oxford City nil. Dartford nil. Taunton Town P. Dulwich Hamlet P. Uh, lots of P's going in today. Worthing one. Tombridge Angels, again, as usual, losing nil. Over in the Irish Premiership, Bagorra, it's Linfield, nil, Lan, zero. 
Oh, bagar. So those are the latest scores. Uh, hey, it's 20.05. Uh, and that should mean that, um, my, I don't know how to find it, some of my, let's I'll just click it, uh, on eBay, if you go to eBay, a couple of things have just gone up on eBay, uh, my, oh, should I have them here, shouldn't I, really, that would be more sensible, um, I'll go and get them, wow, shit, hold on, just don't move, I'm, I'll be right back, um, are they here? Oh, what have I done with them? Did I put them over there already? I can show you this. Anyway, I mean, if I've lost that already, then that's the uh, that's the end of the other one. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm selling one pack of uh, what got sent out to celebrities to try and get them to promote my book, and none of them did. You get one of these squeezy balls. You get a... Can I have my ball back? Beach ball you can blow up. You get uh, another squeezy ball that they made, but isn't as good as mine. My mic's a bit mute, muffled. Oh, it's because it's, it's fallen into my... Thanks, Chris. Can you hear me? Um, I hope you could hear all the football. Do I have to do the football scores again? Uh, there's some Ferrero Rochers. This was the bribes I sent out to people. There's a copy of Can I Have My Ball Back? And there's a letter that got sent out to me. Was that all it is? I felt like it was more than that. Um, and uh, so you can bid for that. Uh, there's also the Pickle Rick notebook if I haven't lost it. I'm going to just have a quick look for it. Because it's good, you know. Oh, it's in a brown envelope, is it? So where did I put it? What's going on? Who am I? What have I done with the real Richard Herring? Did I put it in here? Surely not. How strange. I put it somewhere so I wouldn't... Ah, oh, there it's there over there. Don't worry. This, uh, this is all about being mobile, this, uh, this podcast. You can go and bid on these things right now. The Pickle Rick notebook and pen that I used between for Rahalastapa between... Um, 29th of August 2021 and 17th of May 2022. Those, it's got all the notes, it's got a few of the autographs. I forgot to get people to autograph it after a while, but there's some, still some good autographs in there. And so far, no bids through. It's all very exciting. Um, £50 starting bid on the book. £30 starting, book, starting bid on all that stuff. You get one of these, I mean, come on. Who, does, who wouldn't want that? Have I put that back in the right place or is that a spare one? Don't want to send out two. Right, that's that's what that is. Head to ebay.co.uk, uh, look for Herring 1967, and those are my two lots that are there for the moment. And the money from that will go uh, to making more podcasts. Um, anything else I've got to do for you? Let's see, still, you could submit a bid, bid now. It'll be very exciting in real time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tweet about it if you guys aren't going to. If you guys aren't going to do it, I'll tweet about it and see if anyone will come on. You know, I don't have to wait for you. I'm not, someone's put in £50. A right, couple of cool items. I'm just using Twitter. Check them out. I wonder if I can put the pictures up. I should have probably done this, set this up beforehand. Oh, downloads. Uh... Yeah, that looks good. Okay, you can see the tweet. Let's have a look and see how those are doing. Uh, no bids. Someone just said they put a bit, a bit of fifty-one pounds in, and they lied. They lied, my friends. Oh, current bid fifty pounds. There we go. That's good. So thank you very much. One bid. Thank you very much to. I'll never go for fifty quid. Um, it's selling. Can't see who's, I can't see who's bid on it. But anyway, that's exciting, isn't it? So that's interesting. And look at that. That Can I have my ball back? That's good. That's worth having. Current bid, £30. So thank you. Two people have bid. They're definitely selling. Oh, right. A bit tired today. Uh, but, you know, snooker must come first. Ah, very nice. 
10 past to 8. God, the snooker must come first. Uh, we've done the thing, we've done the thing. Oh, let's have the predictions. Um, Prince Andrew of uh, Duke of York. Hello, yes, isn't he? Yes. I am not here. I'm, yeah, all right, blah, blah. No sweat. I do no catch trees. No sweat. Oh, well, until recently, I was wearing a no sweat uh, sweatband, but it's gone. What do you think the score will be today? Who do you think will win? Uh, I do not like knee two for obvious reasons. Yeah, done that one before. Uh, so I'll go for the new one who will win by 20, 10 points. 20, 10 points. Because you're saying that's because of the time. Do you mean 30 points? Yes, I do. You said that without the mulets. I'm a ventriloquist. Me won by 30 points. Duke of York. How about you, Sybil? What do you think is going to happen? You're in a rough way here, Sybil. Ooh, I think also me one. Oh, two for me one. That's unusual. That's never happened before in the one week history of them doing it together. Ooh. Uh, and uh, ooh, here it is. I think me one will win 57 to. 43, 57, 43. Let's see if they're right. Well, look, the current score is 71, 77. Uh, me one has had a rush of form. I think won three or four in a row, maybe four. One, two, three, four in a row. Uh, 71, 77. Me one won by 57 to 54 last time. And it was a controversial frame. A lot of people asking for referee one to be sacked. There was a clear impeachment on the pink. Uh, and then it looks likely to me, it's, there's no way of slowing it down, uh, no way that we can be bothered to do, to see whether the black was hit first, uh, but it seemed like me one got away with a couple of cheeky um, fouls, which is not good, uh, we'll see if me too can come back, it all evens out over time, uh, let's see how uh, me one is feeling about how things are going, we're not going to talk to them for long, what can they say? Look, Richard, uh, I, I won. The referee's decision is final. Referee won as a fine referee. And uh, sure, I might have touched the pink a bit, but it's not in the spirit of the game. Is it to take points off for that? Well, I mean, it's the rules of the game. Check your tea towel, Richard Herring. I don't think there's anything on the tea towel about that. But in any case, he didn't see it or he didn't say anything about it. So it doesn't count. And I hit the other one so fast, the human eye can't tell which, what, which one got hit first. So I might have done that or not. But I won is the point. I'm coming back. I'm, football's coming home. I'm coming home. Um, I, uh, you know, I, I know a lot of people are saying this match shouldn't go ahead because of uh, your attitude towards gay, the gay community, Richard. I've got a very liberal attitude towards the gay community. That's why a lot of people are saying it shouldn't go ahead. I'm saying that. And um, let's see if me too will go with the courage of his convictions and wear the rainbow armband. I wish we'd thought about this before. <laughs> it's the obvious thing to do. Well, yeah, I thought of it before. I just assumed you would think of it. Um, OK, well, so you're what you're pro the gay rights. No, I'm anti gay rights, Richard. I think I'm a heterosexual man. I'm married. I've got two children. No one is more heterosexual than me. I once kissed a man in college, but it was just an experiment. No one is more straight than me. And the idea of big men's cocks going down, in and out of each other's mouths, frankly, it's not, it's not something I want to think about for a lot of reasons and into their bottoms and stuff. It's, ugh. So I'm anti the gay community and, uh, and I'm, I applaud your decision to not allow the rainbow armbands. I didn't, I haven't made that decision. N n neither, no, like we're just, I just didn't think to get any. Well, I applaud you, Richard, for not thinking to get any. No, I'm, I personally am pro LGBT, LGBTQ plus. I say I can even do it. Mm, you've got to do it straight away first time or it doesn't count. And we all know the truth, Richard. I'm here. You must be anti-gay. Let's not... If this is about sport. Let's not... It's about a sporting contest. We can't cover every issue, can we, in, in this? We, we can and we do. And we have done. And this is another one. If I win, that means homosexuality is now illegal in this, in this, in this world. Wow. And that's, a, that's a big thing. Me too. I mean, I'm not sure me too will be particularly uh, uh, pro the gay community let's find out of course i'm pro the gay community richard i'm pro anyone banging anyone I, that's what i think bang away don't get married 
don't get into traditional relationships. Bang anyone you can in any combination. Bang, bang, bang. Just have fun. We're only here once. And uh, if you have to suck a cock every now and again, as long as you get your cock sucked. I don't think this is what the sport is of self-playing snooker is about. Yeah, you've touched my cock. No, I've, have, I've touched my cock. It's my cock. But, you know, you wanked it right off. This is not the time. My daughter might be listening to this. <laughs> Let's hope not. Um, all right. So how are you feeling about your chances of winning? I'm, I'm fighting for all the gay community, all the gay kids in, in the hospital. Um, I'm going to come out fighting and I'm going to win this one today. I'm sorry I've done so badly recently. I'm going to do it for you. I'm going to do it for John Way Brown Jr. I mean, to be fair, he's probably not, he probably wasn't that nice a guy. Well, tell that to the chickens. They loved him. Um, and yeah, let's let the mayhem commence. Neither of the the two oracles of the future have um, chosen you. And Prince Andrew has been correct with the winner both times. Very close with the score, I think, the previous time as well. So we shall. We it remains to be seen. My uh, daughter set up the old green board today, so hopefully it's all right. And um, very, she's very interested in getting in. Let's go to commentator one, commentator two. Oh, my goodness. I'm so glad this is nearly on. Well, thank you. You join us here in uh, the... Oh, my goodness. The, can I have my ball back? I just want to tell you it's up to £102 already. Uh, just and the, the Pickle Rick. The Pickle Rick notebook, £67. So it's all very exciting. Uh, one off, of course, the Pickle Rick notebook. Uh, the other things, there's a few copies of the other things going around, but not many. They're a collector's item, so you, you're very right to be spending money on. There's boxes all over the place here. There's no proper light up here. Let's, uh, let's kick these boxes underneath here. That's probably the quickest thing to do. So who's on the Oki today, commentator two, do you know? Yes, I do happen to know. I believe it's me too on the Oki today. He hasn't won. For over a month, can he rectify, erectify it today? Here he goes. Well, thank you, commentator two. Some good work there. Me too, straight in off. Four points to me one. He's flying. This seems to put the predictions of Prince Andrew and a scary doll that I think he may have sexually abused. Me one. Oh, does not get the, he's, this cue looks a bit bent to me. Me too. He pots. He's away. He's potted the red. I think that might be it in terms of uh, break. He's going for the pink, but there's a lot behind him here. Oh, nearly goes in off, but he's off the mark. Calculating, calculating. Me one, four. Me two, one. Very, and the robot voice seems to have... Oh, me one hit that too hard. It jumped out of the pocket like that. Saudi Arabian footballer jumping around when he scored a goal. Me too. It's ball touching. Oh, not a bad try there from me too. Nearly gets, gets that in. Me one. Should be able to pick up a point here. Oh, he's hit it much too softly. Me too. It's either too hard or too soft. Me too fails to get home the advantage. Me one. Thinks he can see a way through. Oh, oh, nearly gets something in, but nothing goes down. Me too. Unlike uh, in the gay community. Me too. Uh, he's, he's done it again. Oh, me too. A disappointing attempt on the yellow. But he edges closer, closing the gap. And me one has to start pulling something out of his ass now. And there he's done it. He's pulled it out of his ass. One point scored. He's going for the green, I would imagine. Oh, it's a pretty straight shot, but he hit the post. To use a football analogy, it's 5-2. Very nearly the England score. Can me too make it 6-2? No, he can't. Oh, I don't know if he meant to do that, but he just potted a brilliant red. So it's 5-3. Uh, Can he get this black past this red? No, is the answer. Oh, no, it's not. It's, he, he's done it. I was wrong. He knows more about snooker than me. Uh, it's a break of eight, highest break of the frame so far. And uh, can he get another red here? Will be tricky. 
And did his, did his cuff touch the green ball? Referee one didn't see it if he did. Maybe some justice there. It's a three ball break. Can he make it four balls? Oh, way off. Absolutely way off. Um, nine points to me too though, and he's leapt into the lead like a footballer leaping up to head a ball into the goal. Uh, like Bellingham, is it? That guy scored the first goal. Me one. He tries a plant, doesn't get it. Me too. He's flying now. Flying. Oh. Unlucky. Oh, excuse me. Unlucky for me too. Me one capitalizes. Gets a red in. I'm sure this pink can't go down. Oh my goodness, they're confounding my expectations. And from thence the humour arises. These guys are snooker pros. And already a break of seven points from me one. Can he make it eight? Oh, he's going to go for the longer shot. Oh, he got it, but he went in off. So seven points to me one. Would be in the lead, but for that in off. Well, follow through. We've all experienced a follow through. Calculating, calculating, meet one, 12, meet two, calculating, 15. Me two ahead, the impetus, the ball is in his court. Oh, he's gone in off as well. I was going to say that I thought that would happen, but I'd been so wrong with other stuff. And surely now, me one, should be able to take it home from here. He's one point ahead, but maybe he can clear from here, let's see. He's got the red. I think he should get this brown, but will he be able to get up for those reds? No, is the simple answer. Or oh, maybe he's got a break of five. A lot of breaks coming through here. That brown ball going slightly in the wrong place. He could at least hit the reds. Me one. Break of five. Surely it's all over now. 21-15. Me two is still going to try and win. He's potted a red. The cue ball comes down. He's going to go brown. Ooh, nearly gets the red and the brown, but gets neither. The edge is closer. Me one. One red left on the board, of course. Oh, I was going to say not anymore. Would have been a dramatic moment, but unfortunately he didn't get it in. Me too. I think he can just get the corner of that red. Sends it down the board. Doesn't get a snooker. Me one. Wax, it's, oh, B1 gives away five valuable points. The blue flies in and it's, can you believe, you could have not write this. If someone tried to write what is happening here today, they'd actually be unable to do it. Even if they watched it and then tried to write it, they still wouldn't be able to write it. Me too. If he gets this, he's ahead. He hits the post. Me one. He's playing foolishly. He's whacked it. To no avail, nothing's gone wrong either. Me too, they should pop this. Well, the cue ball moved as he, as he tried to hit it there. <laughs> that put him off. Me one. Whoop, me one nearly falls over. The green screen, me too. Tries to get the cue ball away from the red. And doesn't succeed, me one. Oh, real miscue there from me one. He hits the green and me too. Just in the lead. No, it's too close to call, isn't it? Me too. Can he steady his nerves here? Oh, has a good crack. I might have got a, might have got a snooker here and it might be a good one. Me one's going to have to do something quite special. He's fucked it up. He's hit the pink. And that could be the moment. It looked like it was me one all the way, but me too now finds himself a comfortable 10 points ahead. And it's his go. And he pots the final red as if it were just a piece of butter on a knife. Can he get this black without hitting the brown? He's going to try. Oh, he's very right. And me too. No one backed him. But I think he could take it home from here. Oh, he's missed the yellow. What a shame. Oh, has he? Oh. I think he might have got a snooker. Oh, and then he walks into the wall. So eight, calculating, calculating, meet one, 21, meet two, 39. Me two, well ahead now. Still within the realms of possibility that me one could come back. He managed to hit the yellow. 
And me too could see a snooker opportunity here. Oh, he's hit the blue. Well, he may. He was just trying to nudge the yellow behind the blue, I think. But he's not only hit the blue, he's sort of left everything completely on here. Me one pots the yellow. Hasn't come onto the green quite as well as he might have done. In fact, the black's in the way, I would say. Oh, he's missed the, oh, he's missed the green. It's almost come back and hit the black. So me one gets two, but gives away four. Still very exciting. Me too. That's a good crack at that green. Could it, would it, should it? No. Oh, this looks on for me one. He might have to come off the cushion. Oh, unlucky, it jingled and jangled in the pocket. But did not go down. Me too. The green ball's still moving. There's some amazing snooker going on here. Me one. Can he get this in the top pocket? With a little cascade off the blue? No, he can't. Me too. Oh! <laughs> and me too, maybe throwing away his lead. Just hit the green, but where then the cue ball just flew past, went into the old pocket, the old onion bag, and me won. Oh, ho, ho, just when the gods called for it, me won does the pot of the match, followed by the in off of the match. So me won gets three, but gives away four. And play like that is going to mean that. Me too just edges away very gently every time a ball is potted. Can me too pop this black brown? Can he double it? No, he can't. Me one, still within pissing distance. It's not over yet, me one fans and anti-gay people. Me one misses. Me too. Oh, that was, uh, he was asking a lot of himself there. Me one. Is he going to do it? Oh, what a shot from me one. Some would say it was lucky. Others would say he's a genius. And that one was all genius from me one. He's brought, he's potted the brown. He's potted the blue. He's on the pink. Oh, he nearly goes in off. In fact, oh, he's got a deflection. It's gone in. Unbelievable scenes. Two flukes, I would say, in this break. Uh... Of three balls, pink, brown, blue, four, nine, 15. Puts him ahead. If he gets the, oh, what play from me. One, he scored 22 points. Unbelievable. That's very bad news for any gay viewers. I'm sorry, you had to stop. 57, 47. That sounds very like what was predicted. Oh my goodness. I mean, for those of you who don't think Sybil is real, if I told you that she, before this frame, she predicted 57, 43, you would say, no way, Rich. No one could have been that accurate. But, sorry, commentator one. But... They were, it's 57, 47, it's 72, 77, and Prince Andrew was right in a way, he said 30 points, so it was 10 points, it's almost the same thing. Between the two of them, absolute necromancy. Me one, from being 10 frames adrift, is right the fuck back in this thing, and his homophobic views have not held him back. You know... It just goes to show in this world, it's money that counts, not morality. Back to you in the studio, Rich. Well, what, I mean, what drama. Break of 22, absolutely incredible. Though two of those shots, complete luck, um, it has to be said. So um, I feel dirty, I feel wrong. Um, but to get the exact score of me one at least, then pretty you know, like the future's a little bit shroudy. A three and a seven look exactly the same when you're looking into the future, but behind that future mist. 
Well, I'm sorry for what's happened, but I can't control these things. Uh, some people say, Rich, you could stop hosting a tournament with an openly homophobic character in it. But I would say I've had an openly gay character as well. So some would say, wasn't that quite a cliched and offensive character? And I'd say, no, it was not. So, you know, I'm doing as much good as evil here. <laughs> and it balances out as exactly equal. Let's talk to the players. First of all, me too. You had a lot of people resting on you there. Look, the, half the fun of being gay is that it's not allowed. So I've done you all a favour. It's cheeky. It's against the laws of the 1950s. And it's, you know, that's why people do it. Not sure me too turning into the, uh, the spokesperson that we perhaps would have liked him to be there. Apologies for that. Um... Do you think you can break this terrible streak of snooker? Uh, yes, Richard. Look, I, it doesn't matter. I'm still five frames ahead. And if I win the next five frames, then I'll be ten frames ahead. So, But if you lose the next five, then it'll be even. And then I'll win the next ten and be ten ahead again because I'm the best. Uh, don't worry, guys. I'm out there for you and girls uh, and everyone, whatever gender you are. I am here for you, however you identify. I'm here for you. Um, if you want to bang... Just give me a call and uh, we can get out of this. Don't worry. We've got it into a tight hole and we can, we get, we've got to get ourselves out. But you know what I'm talking about. We can do it. We've done it before. Right. Well, me too. Staying confident, staying philosophical, making slightly unpleasant metaphorical ideas. Um, and uh, me one. Well, Richard, it's like God has spoken. God, if you read the Bible, God's on my side. And um, I, I felt his mighty wind as I leant on the table. I felt him behind me holding my snooker stick, rubbing it, pull it back and forth and making my balls go in a hole. So, you know, he knows what he wants and he knows where to get it. He wants to destroy the passerby, literally sometimes with a bolt of lightning. And uh, I'm back. I'm back. You might not like what I think, but I'm just saying what everybody thinks. That's what I, I just say what everybody is afraid to say. And 7277. And thank you for Sybil for putting such faith in me, getting 57 points as I did, exactly did. Right. Sorry. Right. Well, that's it. Uh, enjoy the rest of the World Cup. I think we'll be back. Might not be back next week. Might be out next week. December might be tricky. You know, it's it's turning into times when maybe I should be doing some stuff. Um, but maybe I'll be around next week. Oh, it's the 29th. It's still, it's still uh, technically uh, November next month, next week. But I have got a lot on this weekend, so we'll see. The week after, I might be at a party. Get me with all my friends of people who run the podcast company that looks after my podcast. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, enjoy yourselves and each other. Wh whoever you are, whoever you're with, even if you're alone, it's disgusting what you're doing to yourself, but it's fine. No one's allowed to judge you. And uh, from me and all the me's. Let's just, I'll let you know how the stuff's going. We'll be, at, it'll finish at five past eight next week. So yeah, I should be here next week. Otherwise, what was the point of setting it to finish at five past eight? Um, the Pickle Rick notebook. These have gone for thousands of pounds. Is up to 106 pounds. That's a lot of money. The Can I Have My Ball Back package is up to 102 pounds still. So the, the Pickle Rick has rightly overtaken it. But um there's some good stuff there, some rare stuff, and uh, just this little fella on his own. That's got to be worth something, right? Okay. From me and all the me's, uh, the guy, someone's won the Go Faster Strike one as well. I forgot, I must find that out. He lives in Canada. Well done. Uh, from me and all the me's, fuck off now. I will see you next week. Goodbye. Thanks for your support.